My name is Jesse Reichler from DonationCoder.com and the Co-op for Two YouTube channel. Today I'm going to demonstrate a plugin I've written for OBS called JR Stats, which is sort of a combination replacement for the built-in OBS Stats window and a little bit of a recording tally light and recording status indicator. I should say this is based heavily off the included built-in stats window for OBS. So if we look at my window here in OBS, this is OBS 28, here is the built-in stats window. It is um, crucial for determining how well your stream is doing, especially uh, if frames are dropping during recording or streaming, and how long it's taking to re uh, to render each frame, etc. We've got a, dem a little indication of CPU usage, little indication of disk space, and then here below we have a little summary of streaming status and recording status, including drop frames, etc. And this would be your indicator here if you were streaming or recording. Now, um, we should talk a little bit about the motivation for this plugin. When I record a live stream, I've got a monitor. I'm sitting at a table. And uh, I've got a monitor in front of me, maybe five feet in front of me behind the camera. and at that size, it's very difficult to read these stats. Now you'll see when I start recording, when it starts dropping a few frames, these change color a little bit when it starts missing frames. So it's a little easier to see that, but it's quite hard to see this small font. That's one problem with this stats window. Another problem is how wide it is. You can see you can't get any smaller than this. That means if this is the monitor in front of me on the screen, I cannot put this on the side. It just eats up too much of my preview window space. So it must be along the top and it occupies a third of the, it's not actually a third because I'm recording at 1920 by 1080, but my real monitor is 4K, which helps explain why this font is too small to read. Um, but in addition to taking up a lot of width, it takes up a lot of height. This is actually as short as it will go. There's as short as it will go if you're willing to have it cut off. This is actually quite a bit of real estate vertically. So that's the second problem with the built-in stats window for me. First is that the font is too small for me to read while I'm streaming. The second is it's an awkward size window, too tall and too wide. And the third related one is that it doesn't give me information I need when I'm live streaming, like um, how long I've been on the air, how long has it been since I've taken a break in live streaming, etc. So I'm now going to switch doc sets. You can see my video on this modification of doc sets to the JR stats layout. Okay, so in this layout, I've put the new panel, the new JR stats doc over here on the right, taking up the few the full height. This lets me get a bigger preview window. This isn't actually the layout I use when I'm live streaming. I use I have a couple of widgets up on the top. It actually makes better use of the space. But let's take a look at this JR Stats panel. It's essentially everything from this top line down is essentially identical to the information in the built-in OBS Stats window, except that I can customize the font and make it as large as I want. And I've just abbreviated some of the wording uh, here so that it fits in a compact space. You can see I could actually compress it to be quite narrow. Um, okay, but otherwise this is exactly the information in the OBS stats window, but organized vertically. So it solves the font, it solves the awkwardness because now I can use this as a full height vertical panel. 
But the other thing that's new is this section up here on the top. And you can see very large font. It says it's off the air. That means we're not recording, we're not streaming. And different people use OBS differently. Some people only live stream and don't record. Someone only use, some people only use it to record. They don't live stream with it. Some people record and live stream. And when you do a combination of those, um, it is possible to start recording before you start streaming or start streaming before you start recording. Or indeed, you can start recording and streaming, but then not actually go live until 10 minutes later. This information you'll see up here is going to track um, the latest one you did. So if you started recording, but then you start streaming 10 minutes later or go live 10 minutes later, it'll have the latter time. And let's see how that works. I'm going to click Manage Your Broadcast. I'm going to select a little test broadcast here. I'm going to select it. Okay, so you can see in the upper right we're off the air. The reason it says off the air for 35 seconds is because I was previously recording in this section. Otherwise, it would just say off the air like this. Okay, there's the reset button. So now this is how it would be if you normally start up OBS. It just tells you you're off the air. Now I'm going to start recording in OBS. What you'll see is you'll see a couple frames drop while it gets the recording configured, and then this text up here will change. So let's click Start Recording. Okay, so you can see it starts off missing a few frames. That's because it's running a few scripts and connecting, and that causes it to drop a few frames. Okay, so you see now in large fonts, we see it says Recording. This is the total time that it's been recording. This is the total time, the time in the current session. I'll explain that in a minute. Let me just click reset here to reset this. So again, bottom here is just like you would get in your normal stats window, but a little larger. It tells you it's recording in green. Nice large font telling you it's actually recording. Now, I'm going to click to start streaming now. Okay, let's see what happens now. Okay, so now it says streaming and recording. And it had a little bit of disconnect when we started streaming. Not sure what that's all about. But um, now you can see this says we're live, this says we're recording, and then in large font up here we can tell we're streaming and recording. And you can see it reset this time based on the time I started streaming. Now we're not actually live yet because that YouTube stream is set to start streaming privately until I click go live. So let's reset these stats. Let's click go live now. Okay, so now it's actually gone live. Now notice the status in the normal OBS stats window does not tell you when you're actually broadcasting. But here you can tell because it's switched to the on air text. So I've actually been broadcasting live to YouTube publicly now for 19 seconds. And that's the current session. Now, why is there a separate entry for on air and session? Well, that's because you can configure this tool. And let's just go in here and take a look at it. You can tell it what patterns to look for in your scene names that represent breaks. Meaning your, well, when I stream for seven or eight hours, I try to take a break every hour for five minutes or so. So this is configured so that after 50 minutes, this text up here saying session will turn yellow, and after an hour, it will turn red. That's to remind me in large font that it's time to take a break. When I want to take a break, I just switch on my little Stream Deck keyboards to one of my break scenes, like this one, five-minute break. So let's click on this and see what happens. So it's switched to a break, and then if you look at the JR stats panel, you can see what's happened. It's frozen the session time, so now I know my last session was 1 minute 21 seconds, and now we're in a break. 
So this on-air recording time will never change. That'll go up to seven hours or whatever. This is counting down the time in the current break, and this is showing the time of the last session. When the break ends, let's say the five minutes had passed, and I switched over to any scene that's a non-break scene, now you can see it's going to pop back. On-air recording time hasn't changed, but now it's reset the session time, so I can see how long in my current session. And this won't change as long as I switch between camera angles that are not breaks. That'll remember that we're currently in a session, but as soon as I switch to one of my break scenes, then we'll enter into a break. Session time gets saved here. And there we go. So now you can see your total time on air. You can see when you're in a break very easily. And if I go back to a non-break, the other nice thing that you guys can't see yet is that this text will turn from green to yellow when I'm approaching the time to remind me that it's time to take a break. So there you go. Now if I hit end broadcast to stop, let's see what happens. Okay, it says it's stopping and now it says we're off the air and now it's told me the total time that I was on the air broadcasting, two, uh, two minutes and 53 seconds. So there you go. JR stats, sort of a combination um, stats replacement and tally light and session break reminder.